was there anything surprising uh, beyond kind of Catholic humor and finding? I know you interviewed imams and rabbis and, and ministers. Uh, was there anything that surprised you in terms of other faith traditions, sort of sense of humor or, or approach to humor? Well, I talked to imams, and uh, the fact that there was a strain in, in Islam, you know, about the Prophet Muhammad and, and God even laughing, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I just I didn't know much about that. Uh, you know, I talked to people from Eastern religions who talked about uh, the Hindu and the Buddhist idea of bliss, those kinds of things. But frankly, the, the most surprising thing for me is when uh, people uh, pointed me to the Old Testament, you know, and there were really many stories that are laugh out loud funny. And I have to say, I never read the book of Jonah with an eye to its humor. I read it more as a kind of morality tale. But if you read it straight through, it's the story of this guy who acts like a six-year-old. And, you know, God says, I want you to do this. And he says, no. You know, and uh, he, he takes, uh, you know, he ends up on a boat and, you know, he's thrown overboard. He's in the belly of the whale. I mean, all the, it, it's kind of crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. He is a very funny character, and I was, I was, I think that was the most surprising that I actually smiled while I was reading that book, you know, because I saw it from different eyes. And my sense is, in Jew, in, in Talmudic scholarship, there is a good sense, there is a sense of humor through a lot that runs through a lot of it. Does that have any, Do you think there's some connection between that and what um, was referred to often as Jewish humor in America? That you know, it's clearly Jerry Seinfeld, uh, and there's a whole host of comedians that we know now would be sort of perhaps part of that tradition. Is there some connection there? Uh, I would say. Probably. I don't know as much about it to sort of make a good conclusion, but I would say it's probably also related to, you know, humor coming out of uh, uh, sort of an environment of suffering. I mean, the right. persecution that the Jews had experienced. So, mm -hmm. you know, humor is, is, is kind of a response to that, a response to suffering sometimes. Uh, and, you know, I, I grew up with mostly, you know, Jewish friends and went to college with mostly Jewish friends. So I, I actually enjoy Jewish humor. Uh, so I think it comes more from that cultural milieu. But but probably you're right that, that some of the some of the funny stories in the Talmud and in the Mishnah, you know, are, are also contributing to that. Do your Jewish friends find it hilarious that you're a priest now? Uh, some of them do. <laughs> <laughs> the uh... yeah, I think they've gotten used to it. I've been a I've been a Jesuit for twenty three years and a priest for about twelve years, so they've gotten used to it. But you know, I get I get Jewish I get uh, priest jokes and Catholic jokes and do people pull back on your on their jokes with you sometimes? Now that they know, they they know you, now that you're ordained, you'd be like, uh, "Don't say that." I, I, no, my old friends, no, yeah. not at all. Okay, not, not one bit. I think they actually, I think they actually push me more. All right, because <laughs> they know it might bother me, so they they know it can push my buttons. Um, no, that's more with people that are uh, that that don't know me. That, yeah, that think the priest should be, you know grumpy all the time. When I was a novice, a Jesuit novice, the superior general of the Society of Jesus came to visit, and I asked him, how can we increase vocations? And he said, live your own vocation joyfully. So, you know, there's a sense that that kind of joy, that kind of Christian joy, um, and, and not just, you know, the sort of telling jokes, but the joy of the resurrection attracts people. There's something about it that attracts people. And I mean, who wants to join a group of miserable, grumpy people? I certainly don't. What's the funniest joke you've heard or funniest thing you've heard in the past couple of days? Funniest joke I've heard recently is the joke of uh, Jesus coming back to earth. Uh, it's the second coming. He calls the Pope. He tells him he's back. And uh, he said, I'm, I'm here to uh, establish heaven on earth uh, at the headquarters of the world's one true faith. And the Pope says, oh, that's wonderful. And Jesus says, but I have good news and bad news. And the Pope says, what's the good news? And Jesus says, well... Everyone is forgiven for their for their sins. Everyone's coming to heaven. You know, God is all merciful, and so you're all welcome to heaven. And the Pope says, "Oh, that's wonderful." He said, "It's such wonderful news. We'll all be able to enjoy heaven with you." He said, "What's the bad news?" And Jesus says, uh, "I'm calling from Salt Lake City." That's <laughs> 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 yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Who told you that? Was that from a priest friend? Uh, that was a nun, actually, that told me that. Okay, that's good.